Hi. I know most everybody's really happy about uh, Ron Paul and his announced candidacy and uh, and how helpful everybody is that he'll maybe be able to actually do something. But although I appreciate what Ron Paul has to say and and what quotes what he says and what he does is very good because nobody else in the Congress is is submitting a bill to to audit or get rid of the Federal Reserve or anything else. So in that regard, he's very good. But you got to remember that he's an old school congressman. People don't get into Congress unless they're doing stuff for the elite. Now. Mr. Paul might be uh, talking a lot of great libertarian tribble, but the problem is is that Mr. Paul can't do anything about it any better than Mr. Obama could do anything to get his presidency going under a uh, Republican-dominated uh, Congress and Senate. So. Even if Mr. Paul gets into the White House, he's going to need a Senate and a Congress that are going to support his, his, his agenda. Now, I, I think what really is going to happen with Mr. Paul is we're going to see him not make it past the, the, Democrat, or the Republican National Convention. Um, Despite whoever, I mean, there were people out there uh, better than McCain, better than uh, uh, last time around, but they didn't pick the better candidate to take on Obama. So, and, and, and plus, the really big thing is, is the person that goes to the Bilderberg meeting next year, they're the anointed one to become president. So, until Mr. Paul gets that, gets an invitation to Bilderberger and he, atten uh, he attends, and if he does, and if he does become president, then guess what he's going to be doing? He's not going to be doing too much for us. He's going to be maintaining the status quo while spouting off a bunch of rhetoric, li libertarian type rhetoric, and then he'll be saying, oh, my hands are tied. I can't get anything done because the Congress won't come with me. Which is totally different than Obama. I mean, like Obama right now, he's telling us that, you know, he's not going to, uh, they're not going to make uh, Social Security payments possibly uh, next month. Um, you know, uh, and that uh, it's going to be a dire, uh, a dire situation if we do not extend the limit on our credit card. Well, I, I must. Uh, I'll say one thing about Mr. Mr. Paul. Since he has become chairman of uh, was the Finance, Means, and uh, Ways and Means Committee, so now he's in a position to actually uh, regulate and uh, interrogate the Federal Reserve. And last week when he uh, asked Mr. Bernanke uh, uh, if gold was uh, money, of course Bernanke said, no, 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 gold's not money. But I think if Ron Paul was really smart and if he was really forced, he would have took it a step farther. He would have asked Mr. Bernanke, well, if gold isn't money, why does the Federal Reserve and why do central banks in particular buy and sell gold? It's quite obvious because gold is valuable. It maintains its value. It is money. It's ultimately money. I mean, it's what God wants as tribute. So, you don't want Federal Reserve notes. So, I don't know, man. I hope that something happens. But let me tell you, it's not going to be with Ron Paul.
เชี่ยว